Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and we're starting the new year with new tips and tricks for iPhone users. In today's video, I will show you guys 25 tips and tricks that I believe every iPhone user must know in 2026. Now, before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, hit the subscribe button. It really helps out a lot. Now we're starting things off with a couple of really interesting and new swipe gestures that you will find on iOS 26. So when you go to like a menu or anywhere on iOS, you know that you can swipe from here to go back. Well, now you can actually do that from anywhere. You don't have to reach for the side here. You can just swipe from the middle or anywhere you want on the screen to go back. And when you select some text on iOS 26, you see this menu right here and you will have this little arrow. When you tap on it, it will show you the full drop down menu from where you, you will of course have a lot more options. Or what you can do is from here, just swipe like that on the menu and it will do the same. It will pop up all this menu with all these different like options that you have for the text that you have selected. Next up, we're going to the music app and we're going here to the playlist section. So right here, when you go to your playlist, you will have this plus button right here and you can see you can create a new playlist. This is nothing new, but you can also create a new folder. Now you can create folders to actually categorize or organize your playlists into different folders. So here is a folder. If I go here, I will have my playlist. So if you have a ton of playlists and you want to organize them, you can now do that via folders. On the phone app with iOS 26, when you get a phone call and you have missed that call, you can now actually swipe on it like this and you can quickly create a reminder for that phone call so that you can call of course later. So you tap right here to go ahead and choose from one hour tonight or tomorrow or just set any time you want by tapping on remind me later. Now, when talking about reminders, you can now quickly set a reminder directly from your lock screen or the action button, whichever one you want to use. If you want to use the button right here on the lock screen, you can do that tap right there. And it basically allows to create a reminder directly from here. As you can see, you will have everything you need here and you can just go ahead and create the reminder from your lock screen. Now, one really cool thing about reminders on iOS 26 is that if you have enabled time and you set a time for that reminder, you can now actually also choose the time zone. Now, this will be very important because you might set a reminder for when you go on vacation and you go to a different time zone. So you don't want to get to, to get the reminder in the wrong time. So now you choose the time zone and they get you get the reminder whenever you need it. Moving on to the home screen. Now, of course, iOS 26 adds these amazing looking transparent icons for the lock screen with a liquid glass effect, which is really awesome. But also you get a bunch of options to actually tint your icons. And here's one of them. If you go to customize and then you go to tint, of course, it will be tinted based on the color of the wallpaper. But you can also do that based on the color of your iPhone and based on the color of the case that you have on your iPhone, which is really, really cool. Now here's one really cool thing you can do on the home screen. The music app on iOS 26 allows you to pin music and now you can have your pinned music right on your home screen via this new widget that Apple has added for the music app. Just search for the pins on the widget stack of music and you will find this basically a very, very useful widget that allows us to have your pinned music right on your home screen. Now, when talking about home screens and screenshots, here's one really cool thing that is back with iOS 26. If you take a screenshot and you want to point out something, when you go to edit it right here and tap the plus button, you will have the loop here that this was removed on iOS 18. Apple has brought it back. Really cool that they have done this. It's an amazing feature. Moving on to settings and let's go here under sounds and haptics. 
So with sounds and haptics, you will have now a new option to reduce loud sounds. So basically it will reduce the audio volume range and basically it creates a softer sound for your device, which is really awesome. And I do actually suggest that you enable this feature for your device iOS 26 also allows us to send photos faster with iMessage. You enable this button right here that you will find under the messages settings. And basically what it does is that it will send first a low quality version of the picture. So it sends it immediately before of course sending the full quality picture. So in that time until the full quality picture goes out, it, they basically the receiver right there will have the low quality picture. So it basically just takes a second. Now, as we know, Apple has added a new feature for the battery. We can view the charging time on your lock screen. Well, that will work and will show you only how much it takes to charge to 80%. If you want to see the full 100% time to charge, you go into settings, go to battery and right here at the top, it will show you how many minutes it will take to 80% and also to 100%. Moving on to the phone settings, go to apps, go to phone, and then right here will have haptics. This is really cool. When you're dialing a phone number, you don't have to keep your phone at your ear to see if they will pick up. Once the call has been picked up or it has been dropped, it will give you a haptic feedback on your phone, letting you know that you basically are on a call or the call is off. Moving to podcast and with podcast, you will have the ability here to change the bag, basically the playback speed. But what you can do is also just drag your finger up and down here above the number and it will allow it to change the playback speed as easy as that. On the notes app, you can now colorize text. You select a piece of text right there and you will be able to actually add color to that text. So if we go there, have this button you can see it will turn it into red but of course we can go ahead and change that if you just want to select it you can go ahead and pick any color you want that way you can separate different things within the note it's actually super useful now here's one really cool thing on ios 26 when you go to the keyboard right here of your emojis you will see right here where it says describe an emoji where you have basically the section to search for the emoji when you add an emoji to a text you can see for a couple of seconds right there it will show you the name of that emoji which is really awesome Moving on to the camera settings right here. Now we have a pretty cool new feature that allows us to basically disable the camera on the lock screen. You know, on the lock screen, we have that swipe gesture from the right to the left to open the camera. A lot of times you will do that by accident and sometimes it's really annoying. So now we can finally go here and just turn it off. On the Photos app, when you go and select a couple of wallpapers or maybe even more, it allows you to just turn them into a shuffle wallpaper. So you can see right here we have use as wallpaper, we have one picture selected, but if we go ahead and actually select multiple, then we can go ahead and create a photo shuffle wallpaper, which is really awesome. And previously you could do this only from the lock screen by creating a new lock screen. On the iMessage app, when you go to a contact and you go to the pictures that you have sent or received with that contact, you can actually tap and hold on that media and then tap right here, show in conversation. It will show you the part of the conversation we have sent or received that image. And this right here is probably the best new feature of the iMessage app on iOS 26. You tap and hold on a message bubble and you can tap now select and this allows us to select the text within that bubble. So you don't have to select the full, the full text on the bubble, just copy the bubble as it is. You can just go ahead and just simply select any piece of text you want. Here's another tip for iPhone users on iOS 26. Head on to the general settings and then go right here to screen capture. And right here you will have a format for your screenshots. If you don't really need to have really high quality screenshots, if you don't use them outside of your iPhone, then choose SDR. This will make the screenshots way smaller in size and they will take up a lot less space on your iPhone. Moving on again under the, the battery settings here, 
So here under power mode, we have adaptive power, a really cool new feature of iOS 26. Now, what I think you should do here is also enable adaptive power notifications. That way, once your iPhone goes into the adaptive power mode, it will actually send you a notification letting you know that that is happening. And with iOS 26, you can finally change the snooze duration. It was nine minutes, which was the default. Now you can pick from one minute up to 15 minutes. On iOS 26, when you go to a contact on the phone app, you can now actually view the call history for that specific contact, which is really awesome. You don't have to search on the call history of your phone. You just go to the contact and you will have the full call history for that specific contact. And last but not least, on the game app on iOS 26, you can now apply a ton of different filters. You can filter your games any way you want like different categories you can choose here different filters as you can see you can sort it by recent name size and of course choose any like all of, of these filters right here will have a clear button to clear all the filters that you have added just choose anything specifically that you want to see on the lists on the your games list which is really awesome and this is a newer feature added with ios 26.2 so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful if you did smash that like button and of course subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one